How do you get to navigate and understand your unique career section of Q and get the best out of it? This is what this video is about. This home screen will appear on your smartphone or dashboard, whichever you prefer to use when you've completed the Q questionnaire and your personalized Q is ready. So we're going to click on the career section now. There are two key icons in careers. One is make choosing a career easier. The other is my career options. This is really the science behind you and your natural strengths in terms of choosing careers. And then this is some options for you to explore once that information is understood. So let's click here on make choosing a career easier. There's some videos in terms of the world of work and how it's changing fast, which is pretty important to know. We also have in here a tab at the top, my top career themes, and let's click on that now. What Q has done is create a 10 career theme model and the themes highlighted in dark blue will be your five top strongest. And it's important to be able to see this big picture of your natural strengths because really all jobs are a set of different behaviors and in the future world of work, jobs will change. So knowing what your career themes are is important to springboard you in the right direction so you can play to your strengths and build more strengths as needed. So let's click on one of these dark five top strongest career themes and explore it a bit more. Q will explain what the theme means in this instance. Imaginative are careers that involve original thinking. And Q will also explain why that is one of your top career themes because we know that that's going to be important to you. It'll also explain the strength of a particular behavior that you have and show what that means. For example, conceptual. You like to imagine different possibilities. In this particular profile, the person has a firm strength in being conceptual. That means their ability to become practical is going to be a bit more challenging for them, but not impossible. And when you understand that, you realize that you may get a bit stressed out if you have to be more practical. So it's going to take greater effort and practice. To return to the career themes model, we just click this back button here on the top left-hand side next to the Q icon. Now let's explore one of the less strongest themes that this particular profile has. This is organizational. This means careers that involve being organized and focused. That's not to say that this top theme is impossible for you to achieve or you cannot develop it in the future because we can all learn new behavior with practice. Sometimes we just need to know which behaviors we have to develop. And that can be really useful to know rather than trying to figure it out on your own. Okay, we're going to go back now. We're going back into careers down the bottom. You can also navigate this way. And we're going to explore my career options and what those particular themes mean for this profile. As a result of the top themes that a profile has, we're going to explore my career fit. And that's jobs that fit with you. Q has identified how well your top career themes match with 200 plus jobs. And by exploring the list, you can also tap on any job to find out more about it. Q also recommends it's really important that you think about your own interests, motivations, beliefs, and values when considering career options. For example, you could be a wonderful doctor, but hate the sight of blood. And so it's probably not going to be your favorite thing that you want to do. Q will never tell you that you can't do anything. Ultimately, you can do anything you want. But what it will show you is how strong your fit is to a particular job based on your top five career themes. So you can find strong fit, good fit, moderate fit, and low fit. Q doesn't talk about no fits. So let's click on one of these jobs and see where it takes us. Let's click on entrepreneur. It gives a brief description of what an entrepreneur is. And it also talks about key stats that you need to consider. The popularity of the career. It's high. Number of vacancies, medium. Risk of being replaced by tech is very low. And qualification requirements is also low. Now let's look at careers A to Z. What Q does is list those 200 jobs a to Z. So if you're looking for something in particular, you can find it more easily. Q will also let you explore some top tips. For example, your seven career wishes. By asking ourselves 
the seven things you would do if there were no limits, no rules, and you couldn't fail can actually open doors that you may not normally open because you'll make assumptions around, I can't do this or I can't do that. And when we give ourselves the freedom to be able to explore new options, it actually can bring things up for us that we hadn't realized was important. And so this is an excellent exercise to be able to complete in order to do that. In careers, in set a goal, you can also set your own career goal. These are specific scientific questions that have been selected that can help you be really clear about your goal, what it's going to give you, what it looks like, how it's going to work, and how committed you are to it. And it provides a great structure for you to be able to move forward. We're now going to return to the main Q homepage. And we can do that by clicking this icon up here on the left-hand side. And now we're back to the home screen. And the next video we explore will be stress.